What's going on guys? This is Knasty390 here. Welcome back to an episode of the San Francisco Giants franchise episode 19. We are in 2026 trying to defend our championship. We won the World Series last year. This team is stacked. Navarro, Franco, Acuna, Nemo, Eloy, McDermott, Bart, Torbio, and then Chris Bryant's our DH. And he comes off the bench. Pitching is even better. Alan Walker, superstar. Hunter Green, Castillo, Jay Groom, and Taiwan Walker. Bullpen looks great. I'm excited to see how this team does. Let's get into the season. If you guys do enjoy this, please do me a solid. Drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy some franchise rebuilds. Well, this isn't much of a rebuild. Now, we are a... I think we have a chance to be a dynasty. Won last year. A... No, I mean, I don't say we, it's World Series of Bust with this year. For this team, I think we should win the pennant. Um, we are off to a pretty good start now. We struggled at the very beginning, but I'm struggling a little bit now. I always seem to jinx myself. Oh, there's been no injuries. I always jinx, my, jinx myself. Um, let's see. All right, let's make sure our lineup didn't get all screwed up. Nope, let's see how they're doing. Navarro's not having a great year, but not bad. <sighs> Wander Franco's turning into a superstar. 346 average, 439 on base, 550 slugging. Acuna's been amazing. Nemo's been great. Eloy's kind of struggled. McDermott has struggled. Bart's been great. Tori Bio, good pop, but not much average. And Chris Bryant on the bench, not doing much. Pitching. Walker's really struggling. Green's not pitching great. Castillo's been good. Groom's been all right. Walker's been really good. Are really solid. Tyler J's been great. Bullpen has been, except for Reyes, has been really solid. Archie Bradley hasn't given up a run yet. So we are almost at the draft. Like I said, we are going to have an extra pick. Let's, I just thought we scored 18 runs. <laughs> um, let's see here. Guess we'll put Castro as our DH there. And Valdez is going to have to catch. For a week or two. That's why we kept him. Alright. <laughs> 18 runs in a freaking game. Are you serious? Um, wow, this lineup is so good. Navarro, Franco, Acuna, Nemo, <laughs> Jimenez, McDermott, and Torbio all hit home runs. Quite impressive. All right, draft. We have the 30th pick in round one. Round two, we have the 26th pick. Compensatory round, that's for losing uh, Jose Ramirez. Competitive balance, nothing there. So, I mean, we don't have any high picks. Let's see how we do. We've been uh, drafting pretty well, though. So uh, let's see what's out there. Right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of projects. Ooh, this guy doesn't look like a pro. Oh, my God. Herbert Wright. Injury risk is average. We could have 80 contact and 80 power. At first base. We don't really need a first baseman. There's also a right fielder. But I gotta go with the... It's, I've never seen that. Could have 80... like, And he's been well scouted. The other guy... What's his name? This right fielder, Mike Jones. But, yeah. I gotta take Herbert Wright. Maybe Mike Jones makes it to our pick. Come on. I think he's available. He is! Let's go! We got them both! Here's a pick for um, ooh, second baseman. Looks good defensive second baseman, Mark Kellogg. Uh, a catcher who's a project. But it's always good to have catchers. Um, ooh, a first baseman who's a project who's only 19. A left fielder who's a project who's 21. Low injury risk. Let's take the left fielder. Um, I was thinking about the catcher, but I mean, we have so many catchers in the system. I want the outfielder. Uh, speaking of outfielders, 75 potential. Oh, injury risk is high, but he could have power. I mean, he could be like a DH or a guy off the bench. I mean, there's a chance to have 80 power. You got to take it. I'm excited to see how good our first round pick is. He could be a superstar. Um, another guy at 75. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Um, let's do a... What's this starter? Low injury risk? Let's take him. Darian Sanchez. Even though stars, injury risk doesn't really matter that much. All right, round five. I will probably take the center fielder. Eh, he's a project. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Yeah, let's do this guy. Rich De Jesus. And then round six. 
going to have the last pick in the draft unless they ran out of players. Nope, they didn't. And there's an 80 there. And a cl- I'm going to take the closer. Matthew Yeager. All right, let's see how we did. Mm. Now, this guy looks really good, Herbert Wright. I mean, he's going to be an amazing hitter. Only 82 potential, though. But, oh, man. like He's like McDermott. I just hope he has a secondary position. His fielding and durability... His durability is not bad. His fielding is not good. But I do like the bat. The bat's going to play. Mike Jones... The bat, he, I mean, he has 79 potential, so that's not crazy high, but he has some good attributes. I like him. Um, Kamara, 82 potential. He's a project in left field, but let's just see what happens. Uh, Abbott, good power. Terrible durability, but good speed. I mean, he only has 73 potential, but like I can see him being a bench bat because of that power and that speed. I actually kind of like him. In what round we got him in? Like the fourth round? I'm okay with that. 74 potential. Sanchez, shot in the dark. Didn't really hit. Same with Jesus, 71 potential, and then Jaeger, 73 potential. But Herbert Wright, I'm very intrigued. I know his potential is only 82, but so wasn't McDermott's. And McDermott's a really good player. He can play left field, McDermott can. And he has the fielding to do it. So, I don't know, maybe in a couple years. I don't know, maybe when Eloy or maybe probably Nemo, who gets older, who is starting to get, get there up in age, we move the outfield around and... There we go. We have a spot there. So, let's continue going on with the season. Let's get... Oh, shit. Acuna broke his shin. Is out for two to three months. And he was playing really well. 342 with 17 home runs. Jeez. All right. Let's see. Who to call up? We do have Santos. Who's 33 at bats? He's done well in 33. It's 33 at bats. Um, Fabian's been not that great in Triple A. Neither is Lyles. Um, in left field, Hutchinson hitting 301 in Triple A with five home runs. Not the best fielding. Um, I'm gonna wait on him. Hmm. I'll probably call up Cabello to take the spot and off Santos play. All right, Santos. I'm just going to move him down. American League, I'm not going to bother with it. Damn, that hurts our offense. We are winning the division, though, by three games. And he should be back for the regular, I mean, for the playoffs. Bart's back. Let's just make sure the lineup didn't get all butchered. Uh, Kind of. Let's just fix this. And let's put Valdez. Actually, did very well. Valdez did. And McDermott's starting to do a little bit better. So, yeah, we'll we'll survive. We are a great team. One injury like that shouldn't affect us. Alan Walker's up for one to two weeks. Jeez. I will probably... Just as, as one or two weeks. I'm just going to put Tyler J in there. For one... If it was a long term, I'd call someone up. But I think we'll be fine. But we're going to have to start... All right, Walker's back. We're now two and a half out of the division. Thank God Luis Castillo. He's been really good, but he's actually declining. It's not ideal because he does make a lot of money, but we'll, I think we're going to get hot very soon. Corey Ray's going to the Dodgers for a couple prospects. All right. Let's see who made the All-Star team for us. 14 won the All-Star game. So we're a half game behind the Rockies. All-Star voting. Uh, Castillo made it. Well deserving. Um, closers. Anyone on our team? Vasquez. He hasn't been pitching great, but he made it. Catchers. No one. First base. Nobody. Second. Nope. Third. Jose Ramirez. Not having the best year. 259. 20, the power is good, but the average isn't great. Not bad, though. Um, Wander Franco. Definitely deserves all-star team. Uh, Eloy. Now, the average isn't great, but he does have 16 home runs. Slugging's pretty good. Almost at 500. And Nemo, yep. And Cody Bellinger, we wanted to get. Um, any guys that we have like moved on from or traded? Let's just take a quick look in the American League. We'll fly through this real quick. I'm not seeing anyone. How's Trout doing? 302, 14 home runs. He's going down overall. He's down to an 84. Um, all right, so 
Did we sign our draft picks? Just want to double check. We did. All right. We're gonna get very hot to finish this month. I guarantee it. As long as we stay healthy. Let's make sure they didn't screw up a lineup with Wander. Nope, he's there. Perfect. All right. We're gonna start winning some games on this road trip. Or we lose a bunch of rope basket. Jeez. This has been a, a, we weren't getting injuries early on, but we've made up for them now. All right, so we have to trade down number 66 and 44. Two games out of the division. Win the wild card very comfortably. What do we got for prospects? Anyone shooting up the board? Harvey Hutchinson's at 20. Improving a lot, especially with contact versus right. Um, I kind of want to keep him in the minors. Don't push him up too soon. Freddie Ham, who's 25. I'm not too high on him. Ricky Morgan's an 81 overall. Um, might call him up soon. Adrian Fernandez, a starter, is up to a 71 overall. Don't love his per nines, though. Avery Henderson, a first baseman of projects, only a 60. Richie Gonzalez is a 79. Um, you know what I want to do? While Vasquez is in the injured, I want to call up Morgan to the Major League team so that if there's injuries, he's been on the Major League team before the um, playoffs started. So now we have one too many guys, but he should have played a game. He didn't yet. Um, I will send someone else down. Who is, like, not batting? Cabello, we do want to keep up. So I'm going to probably send down Luciano. He's only had 71 at-bats, and Castro and well, Bryant can play the outfield. I guess I'd send down Cabello because he's just not playing. So we'll send him down. Oops, where is he? Here he is. Send him to AAA. Acuna should be back soon, right? One to two weeks. So that's good. We'll get him back. Really help out our lineup. We got a big series coming up. With Colorado. And we lost three out of four. Okay, Acuna's back. We're two and a half behind the Rockies. Um... There's that. I want Acuna third. Boom, 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 boom. And boom, boom. Let's pull them up. This lineup is so freaking good. McDermott batting. No, I want him higher up. There we go. All right. Let's get hot, boys. I don't want too many guys on the main. Okay, did that guy now play at least a pitch? Okay, Morgan has pitched. I'm going to send him back down. So if we need him for the playoffs, we can call him up. He's now eligible for the playoff roster if we need him. I believe so. All right, when do we play Colorado again? Let's see. Um, hopefully, we Okay, we play him coming up right here. And we lost two out of three again to them. And I think, oh, we just played them again, and we won two out of three. Then we got swept by Miami. So where are we? We're five out. Freaking. I mean, we're going to easily make the wild card. The question is, are we going to be at home or in Atlanta? It's unlikely we, uh, where are we? Yeah, we didn't win the division, which is kind of a shame. 94 wins, and we are hosting the wild card game. I mean, the Giants won 97. Freaking Giants. 104 by the Nationals. Wow. Let's see how we did. Pitching. Walker will probably go in that game. He didn't pitch great during the regular season, but I still trust him. Hunter Green really struggled. Castillo was good. Groom was all right. Walker was really solid. Um, Jay wasn't great, but he did pitch a lot of innings. Vasquez was good. Hurley was really solid for a rookie. Parker was okay. Reyes was okay. Bradley was great. 40 saves for him. Let's take a look at the lineup. Navarro, average was down for him. Actually, it's, but it was last year. Power was slightly down, but stolen bases was up. Slugging was basically the same. OPS was slightly higher. Wander, 310 average, 23 home runs. Turning into that superstar. And he's, his contract goes down every year. Acuna only played 102 games and he hit 31 home runs with a 335 average, 439 on base, 679 slugging, OPS of 1100, war of 7 3. That's incredible. 
Nemo hit 30 bombs, 311. Uh, he has 241 for his career. His war was 8-2. He always is incredible with his war. Eloy, 292 average, 33 home runs. That's definitely not bad at all. He plays good defense. War of 7-2. McDermott, wow, he did struggle for him. 264. Average was all right. On base was down 30 points. Slugging was down 60 points. Does play good defense, but yeah. Joey Bart, 266 average, which isn't bad, but only 18 home runs when he averaged 25 home runs the prior three years. Um, Slugging was actually up, though, compared to last year. It, oh, it's because he only put 107 games. That's why. So he got hurt. Um, Torbilo, you know, the 241 average isn't great. 24 home runs, though. That's basically what Julio Rodriguez was doing. And he's cheaper. He's only 300000 And then Valdez. And there's Chris Bryant. Castro's an 87 overall now. Wow. Um, let's take a look at awards. We probably got some. Victor Robles got MVP. Wow. And Reese Hoskins. Sean Newcomb and Jimison Town got Cy Young. Batting total went to Harper. And Reese. Okay. Levers of the year, Hicks and Sheets. Rookie of the year, Ernie Clement. And Greg Shea. Should be a Met if you last name Shea. Gold Glove was Castillo. Any other awards? Anything else? Nope. Top prospects. Any high up on this? Top 20? Harvey Hutchinson. Okay. He's now an 80 overall. Very close to being big league ready. Number 16 prospects. He's only 21. I like him a lot. And yeah. Then we got Freddie Ham. We got Ricky Morgan. Who did pitch just a cup of coffee in the majors. Fernandez, a starter. Hen uh, Henderson, the first baseman, and that's it. So our best prospect is definitely Harvey Hutchinson, who I don't even know if he's our best. I mean, his fielding's not that great. He has great durability. He is, if he does play, he's a left fielder because he doesn't have much of an arm. But the power might develop. The conduct versus left is definitely developed. Um, I mean, this season wasn't a, a terrible year, but, I mean, I wanted to win the division. We didn't. $259 million payroll. Next year, our budget's at two forty-five. dollars um, Walker is a free agent. I think that's the only big free agent, though. And the money goes up because we're giving pay raises to Navarro's getting an $8 million raise. I think someone else is getting a hefty pay raise, too. Uh, no, that might be it. I think just some other guys are small incremental raises. But we should stop the money. Um, we should be fine contract-wise or budget-wise. Nunez is a free agent. We'll let him walk. Um, so we should be able to keep the band together. Except for Walker, but we can find someone else. Oh, Chris Bryant. Maybe we can... Uh, hopefully he retires. That's $40 million next year. Definitely need to find a way to get rid of that contract if we can. But all in all, you know what? we made the playoffs. We'll do the wild card game. And the playoffs if we win that game. I'll see you guys in that episode. Please drop a like if you enjoy this sub if you're new. I will talk to y'all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.